Okay, I want to show real quick how I clean gourds, and unfortunately I have yet to find any method that is easy for cleaning gourds. So if anybody knows of a better way, let me know. I've got this w filled with bleach water and some miniature gourds. These are really tiny, and I'm trying to get the mold off them. They've hardened for over a year and they're ready, so. Uh, one disadvantage about cleaning gourds this way is that gourds float, so I have to put something heavy to keep them from, <laughs> keep them from, uh, floating to the top and not getting clean. Now, this one here is a good example. You can see how it's got all the mold and everything on it. I've already started cleaning. And the only way that I know of to do it is uh, to get a, a scrub pad like this or one of those wire sponges. And then you just kind of scrub and get all the gunk. You see how that's coming off and the water helps. And having with the bleach helps kill some of this mold and to get it off. Oh, well, but the disadvantage is you can't leave it in the bleach too long. I already broke it. it the, the wood got soft and it went through. So that's something you can only leave it in for a little while. But you can still see how... Uh, but that still takes a very long time. And it's a, it's a lot of hard work. Okay, so this is the example of a cleaned gourd. When you're done cleaning it, it will have this really nice skin texture that I say it actually looks like bread. They look edible and yummy. And if you cut, cut a hole to get the seeds out, you can clean out the inside and get all the pulp and the gunk out of it. Again, these are at least a year I've let them sit out so everything was really dry and it's easy if you put water in there and get it out. Now, the disadvantage of using the bleach method is that you can't save the seeds because what the water gets inside of the gourd is going to bleach the seeds and they'll die and, you, and they won't grow so you can't save them that way. And so I have yet to find an easy way to clean gourds using the, uh, the wire sponges and that scrubby sponge takes a lot of strength and a lot of time. You saw me wearing the gloves and you should also wear a face mask because the gourds have the mold on them is uh, very bad if you breathe it in. If you have allergies or even if you don't have allergies it can make you cough and sick and make it hard to breathe so you should wear face protection when you do this as well. And here's another one. See that one still has the mold on it. Come on, focus. Yeah. This one still needs a lot of cleaning, but once it is all cleaned up and nice, it'll be smooth and look like bread, like that one. Um, there is another method I, I saw. And I, it's, there's a really good website called A Bird's Home. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and they say that you build like this little wire cage and you put the gourds inside after they've dried and then you spray them with a pressure hose, a pressure washer, and that's supposed to, they spin around inside the cage and it gets most of the mold off. That sounds good to me, but I don't have a pressure washer, but if that's the best way to do it with the least amount of work, then that sounds great. If anyone knows of a better way to clean the gourds besides, you know, using a, a wire brush, you know, chemicals that could ruin the shell or um, a knife. It's not something that's so tedious. Now you can imagine if you have a big harvest of gourds, like if you're somewhere up north and you, you harvest a hundred gourds, I dread the thought of cleaning all those gourds if you want to use them to paint or to sell. So sometimes it's, I'm glad I didn't get as many because the work afterwards is just crazy. All right, hopefully this will help you guys out to give you ideas and have fun growing gourds and cleaning them afterwards. Des, signing off.